Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying the work week so far. Today we're going to talk about the four best ultraviolet flashlights you can buy in the market today. Now, they're, they're, they, ha they all have their own differences. They all have their own price ranges. We're going to cover a little bit of either of these and I'm gonna stick all the links down in the description for you so that way you can check them out the first one up is made by Streamlight and it is a uh, pocket style or pen style ultraviolet light it's pretty bright we're gonna cover brightness here in a little bit but it's an ultraviolet light otherwise known as a black light if you were to pull the sleeve back, there is a charging port for a micro USB charging port on one side. And you can recharge this without having to change out any batteries. So that's pretty convenient. The second light, my shop owner gave this to me to do a review on for tonight. And it's made by Mastercool. You can pick this up on Amazon for about $65 to $70. In case I didn't specify how much the Streamlight costs, I bought this off of a Matco tool truck for about $60 to $80. Pretty close in comparison to how much the Mastercool flashlight costs off of Amazon. So pretty close in comparison. This is the reason why they're both side by side. The next flashlight, the third UV flashlight, is known as the Optimus 3000. Now you can buy this flashlight off of Tooltopia. For around $100, and again, I'll put the links down in the description, pretty awesome light. The fourth light is a uh, Cornwell ultraviolet light. Looks pretty similar to the Optimus 3000, for the exception of this hook. This hook that comes on the Optimus 3000. Outside of that... They feel about the same amount of weight. They're shaped similarly. They very well could be the ones that make the Cornwell version. Not too entirely sure. We'll find out in this video which one of these flashlights is brighter and which one of these flashlights is dimmer based on that. Now, going through that, you might also notice that I have an AC compressor here. I thought this was a pretty interesting topic. Now, this AC compressor came in to the shop and we didn't know it was an AC compressor in the beginning customers complaint was uh, that the vehicle was no longer blowing cool and that they just had the uh, vehicle serviced for an AC complaint about three years ago but the receipts would show that the AC compressor the receiver dryer and everything else were replaced about four years ago and one year ago they had the refrigerant uh, system recharged evacuated and recharged and no faults found now that can be very tricky and even utilizing the best of UV lights may be even trickier unless you know what you're looking for now when I was observing everything under and around the AC system I didn't see anything that stood off to me too much there was nothing that was really standoffish or anything that would indicate there was a problem with an AC leak. However, there is a clutch plate located on the front of this AC compressor that is being held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. I did not know that this played some huge portion of relevance to this whole equation. However, it does. So we're gonna take it off. Once you take the 10 millimeter bolt out, you should be able to remove the clutch plate that's on the front of the AC compressor. A little washer that came off there. It's all right, we'll put that to the side. Now, on this clutch plate, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see it, you'll notice that there are some various fins, and inside of this, there is a shaft that goes through into the pump and as this pulley is turning it's turning the internal components of this AC compressor and it's compressing 
the refrigerant. Now there is a seal, an input shaft seal that is in here and that was the primary cause of the leak. So I decided it would be a good idea to bring this specific AC compressor home to do this test on so I can show you guys four different styles of UV lights, which one's brighter and how it would affect your search results as a result. So let's go with number one. And again, uh, I don't have the lights turned off now. We'll turn them off later. We'll judge the brightness and everything else based off that. We'll go off the stream style pen light and I'll hold it about 12 inches away. Oh, there we go. It, it's a little bit finicky, it's all right. You can see that it shows a pretty good circumference there. It's showing the pag oil that blew out from the input shaft seal on this AC compressor. And that's pretty cool, okay? It's pretty cool. Sucks that the flashlight is a little bit finicky. Uh, I have had it for a few years, but this is stream light. And that's, that's what I'm able to observe with this specific style of flashlight. Uh, now we'll go on to the Master Cool Light. The Master Cool Light does have a button right here on the side. And again, I'll hold it about 12 inches away. You can see it gives off about the same, maybe a little bit less diameter of UV light that the uh, the pen style gave off but again not a bad light we were able to see the the uh, pag oil or the refrigerant dye in the system we were able to see that leak utilizing that specific flashlight now we'll go to the Optimus 3000 and I'll go about 12 inches away you can see it shows a very large diameter and because of some of the glare it might be a little bit unrecognizable or hard to see the pag oil from my personal standpoint I could see it as clear as day yours might be a little bit obscured because of the amount of reflection coming off of the AC compressor clutch now we'll go with the Cornwell tools um, UV light about 12 inches away same difference now what I'll do is I will begin a series of turning off of lights and grabbing various lights such as this we'll start off with the stream light let me turn off the lights in the garage we will uh, see how oh hang on we will see how much of a difference or diameter that it causes and we'll, you guys will be the judge. So let me turn this off. All right, so now I'm bringing up the, uh, the stream light, pen light. You can see the refrigerant now, the pag oil, you can see that in the input shaft part of the AC compressor clutch. I will grab the master cool while I'm doing this so that way I can turn off the stream light and I will turn on the master cool and you can see with the master cool not only can I see it on one side of the compressor I can see it on the other it seems like a little bit a little bit weaker of quality to be honest it really does that's my own opinion I'm sure you guys will have your own opinion but uh, it's my opinion that the stream light pen light works better than the master cool ultraviolet light now we will grab the Optimus 3000 and we will see what it can do now from here a little bit hard to see because of the glare and everything again so bright I'm having to hold it back let me come about two feet back two feet back you can see it's it's very hard to depict in the video quality I can see it from here uh, with the naked eyes clear as day 
that there is PAG oil on both sides of the clutch which make it evident but it does give off a larger stream. Now I will come closer, grab the Cornwell rebranded version and also shine it towards it. Now you can see a similar feature. They both are really extreme amounts of light which give off a glare on the camera where you wouldn't otherwise be able to tell but from the naked eye standpoint I can see the UV PAG oil on both sides of the clutch both the input shaft as well as the clutch now we will do a separate test I will turn off the Cornwell and I will light up the stream light pin light and then we will light up the master cool light so here is the stream light pin light let me bring this up so you guys can see against the garage door let me zoom it out so that way we have optimal capacity here. There is the stream light pen light. Here is the master cool flashlight. Wow. What a difference. They're both held equal to each other. And you can see right out the gate that the stream light pen light is twice the size and much brighter and the master cool light. Now what I'll do is I'll turn off the master cool light. I will grab the Optimus and I will grab the Cornwell light. Well first let me grab the Optimus. The Optimus in comparison to the Streamlight pocket light is night and day. Here is the Streamlight pocket light. Here is the Optimus. So way bigger difference, okay? I will turn off the stream light now. I will put the Optimus in my left hand. I will grab the Cornwell version. And I will turn the Cornwell version on. Here is the Optimus 3000. Here is the Cornwell rebranded version here. You can see the center impact for the Cornwell version is almost twice the size of the Optimus 3000. However, the diameter is relatively close to the same but the the uh, pinpoint version is a little bit different it's a little bit different the pinpoint version of the Optimus is half the size as the Cornwell but the overall diameter of both UV lights is pretty close to about the same so I will turn them off now I will turn on the regular light We'll talk about this for a second. So, looking at the various versions of UV lights that are available on the market today, we do have the Streamlight version of the pocket pen style, which you guys all saw, that has the rechargeable micro USB. It is brighter than the Master Cool version that you can buy off of Amazon. For about the same price okay now we come over here to the big dog UV lights master cool I'm sorry the Optimus 3000 and the Cornwell which uh, looking at the actual tool itself looks pretty similar in nature for the exception of the the hook and loop like we talked about look pretty close and similar in nature to one another However, there is a little bit of a difference with the Cornwell uh, ultraviolet light. The Cornwell ultraviolet light does have a slightly larger diameter, especially for pinpointing uh, the exact amount of ultraviolet light that is as actually being pointed at something. And the circumference was a little bit bigger. Both circumferences, the overall circumference was relatively close to the same. The Cornwell one a little bit wider then the Optimus 3000, the pinpoint version being almost twice the size difference as the Optimus. The price variation being $100 versus $180. So, overall, if I had to pick, if I had to select, and I didn't know anything about ultraviolet lights, and I was to buy these myself and do this all over again, 
This is my recommendation. I would recommend buying the Streamlight Pen Style over the Master Cool. And I would recommend buying the Optimus 3000 over the Cornwell rebranded re version. Okay. My reason is there was not as big of a difference between the Optimus and the Cornwell rebranded version to be worth a full $80 difference in price tag. Uh, I probably would have gone with the Optimus, saved myself $80 bucks, and had an, a super awesome ultraviolet light. For the amount of uh, ultraviolet light that we got with the pen style uh, flashlight that fits in your pocket, versus the master cool style light that you can buy off of Amazon. I would say I had a much better quality of ultraviolet light and a much better and wider diameter with the pen style than I did the master cool. So if you're looking for ultraviolet leaks and you're looking for the, uh, the, the signature pag oil, neon glow, that everyone wants to see under ultraviolet light. Uh, that's my recommendation. I, these are the products that I would recommend. Again, the links will be down in the description. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. If you did not like this video, hit the thumbs down. Comment, share, all that is really appreciated. And if you're gonna be looking for any possible leaks, make sure you also have a pair of yellow tinted lenses. I, I find that they do actually play a role when looking for leaks. They help out quite a bit. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.